Hello my sweet potatoes, it is Michelle. Today I'm going to be sharing my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour with you guys on my Nintendo Switch Lite. So I don't have a regular Nintendo Switch so I can't record my screen so I'm just gonna use my camera and record my Switch screen. I saw somebody else do this and it actually looked pretty good so I'm hoping that it works and it turns out okay. I'm also sitting in my kitchen like... <laughs> I don't know, the lighting here is just good so that's why i'm here today i am like a hardcore animal crossing fan like i used to play wild world i remember in like fourth fifth or sixth grade i forget but like that was my life okay like i would wake up at like 6 a.m start playing until like midnight 1 a.m go to sleep repeat during like during the summer that's all i would do um and then i got city folk as well for the wii um, I, I didn't play New Leaf. I, I didn't. I just didn't have a 3DS. But then when quarantine happened and New Horizons came out, I was like, okay, I need this. Um, I didn't start playing New Horizons until like May. It's currently September, like end of September. Um, so I've been playing for quite a few months. I'm so slow at decorating, but I finally finished my island and I'm very satisfied with the way it is right now. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so let's start with the island tour. So this is my airport. I have an orange airport. And why don't we take a look at my passport first? I just realized that was my headline or catchphrase or whatever. But anyway, my island name is Momoland and my fruit is peaches. I'm not gonna lie, I restarted my island like 10 times before I finally got peaches because I really wanted peaches as my native fruit. And let's also take a look at my map. My villagers are Judy, Kyle, Wolfgang, Raymond, Whitney, Tangy, Marshall, Stitches, Julian, and Zucker. And my island flag is a peach because my island is Momoland and Momo means peach in Japanese. So if you come out of my airport, then we have my little plaza area here. And it's really cute because my vi villagers like to sit here sometimes. So then I'll, I'll sit with them. And does anyone remember this song from City Folk? It's Animal City. I love this song. And here we have Marshall. He looks so cute in his little hat. And um, yeah. So then if you come down here, I just have a very simple beach. Kind of reminds me of like Waikiki or something. Then if we come out here, we have a little marketplace. We have a bunch of stalls for all the vendors in the market. And of course I have KK Bubblegum playing. I love when my villagers sing this song. <laughs> And then we have nooks here. I love that they have pumpkins out now for fall. And then Able Sisters right next to it, so that just completes like the market feel. And then to the left here, we have this little like I don't know what this area is. Just like a chill like relaxation area, kind of cottage core inspired. And then if you come this way, oops, I should have cleaned up before this tour. Uh, I have a little picnic area here. I saw this something similar like to this on Pinterest, and I just. Thought it was so cute so i had to copy it i also found this deck on pinterest as well for any of my like custom designs or anything like that i'll link them in the description box below so you guys can find it coming up this way i just have a little reading area and my lighthouse and then let's go back this way so i can show you like the right side of my island so again we're back at the airport and if you come to the right i have this rainbow garden this is one of my favorite parts of my island i think because it's just so pretty and yeah i just put like pretty much all of the flowers here then if you come down from my rainbow garden i have this little like tiki bar area so just a lot of coconuts some seating here and a little like stage area here and it's so cute because villagers can like play with the instruments or they'll like sing along to the song this is like one of my favorite songs by the way in the game kk disco but yeah this is my little tiki bar area and then if you come this way this is where my campsite is so my campsite is very plain i didn't put much effort into it i just have a little place to wash your clothes hammock to relax a little dining table area and this little area which is pretty cute as well and then this is where my dock is so i just put a bunch of stuff from the fishing tourney here so yeah i don't usually come to fish here i actually don't really fish at all because i kind of hate fishing <laughs> like i'm so bad at it i'm always too slow 
So let's come this way now. This is where my Japanese street is kind of thing. I don't really know what to call this. It's very much inspired by streets in Japan with a bunch of, you know, stalls on the side with food stands or like little shops to buy knickknacks and things like that. I didn't put much thought into it, just put like a bunch of random things. Like I have a little like fruit ice cream stand here, like a sushi bar here. I don't know if you can see, but there are like little fish tanks. Um, here I have like a dessert stand with cakes, a little bamboo shop, an arcade. That's pretty much it. And then it leads into my very abundant uh, Japanese, or not Japanese garden, my um, bamboo forest, which leads into my Japanese garden, Zen garden. I think it's really cute and I've actually caught my villagers sitting here. It's just so cute. I love when my villagers actually like come out here, especially because this is like at the super far top right corner. So I usually don't see villagers here, but I have caught like stitches and Julian here before, so super cool. And then if you come this way, <laughs> I just put Godzilla here because I don't know, I think it's pretty cool that they have this in the game. I didn't know where else to put him, so I just put him here. Whoa, I didn't know he did that. What in the world? <laughs> okay, I had no idea that he did that. But anyway, let's keep moving. So you come this way and go down. I have this little like river walk. Um, I have the King Kamehameha statue to the right over here. And then I also have the Statue of Liberty over there. And yeah, it's just a little like river walk area. Got some chess, a chess game going on over here. Um, and over here I have a little coffee shop next to the river walk. So, you know, you can grab some coffee, have a seat by the river, just enjoy your day. And the coffee shop also leads into my little library. I usually like to make my furniture actually like usable. So I always leave enough space for me to like walk through and be able to actually sit and stuff. And then behind here, I also have a little like art studio. So here we have painting in the front. I kind of made it look like we're painting the yellow butterfly. <laughs> and over here to the right is like a clay studio. And it's like, it's like you're making clay. <laughs> And then of course I've got my little furnace and a pizza oven, but we'll just pretend it's making the clay. <laughs> and then let's come back down this way. This is where my rainbow garden was, so if you were to come this way, then you would come to my museum. And I tried to kind of make it look like LACMA at the front here with all of my street lamps. So I do have white street lamps, so I was like, why not put them all to use? <laughs> I do have two statues, so I've got, I think, David <laughs> to the right and this dude over here looks like he's bowling. I forget what their names are but then I also have little uh, benches around on the left side here. Let's go back around this way and I have a little like secret path here and if we come up here this is where I put my like stargazing area so if I have shooting stars then I'll come up here and wish on them. Um, it's very simple. I didn't I didn't do a whole lot here. I have this little walkway here that leads to my secret beach. Whenever Red comes, I've got a cannon for him. So we can come back this way. And then if we go up here, this is where my house is. And I also have a little porch seating area in front here. So many branches. Ugh. I also really like this song. Drive-in. I think it's like a secret song or something like you can only get it by requesting it from KK And then back here behind my house. I have a infinity pool Obviously, it's not like super realistic because like whose infinity pool has fish in them. Excuse me I usually find my villagers like fishing here, especially Kyle. Kyle always comes to my infinity pool and fishes and I'm like Kyle This is not the place for that <laughs> Yeah, that's that's kind of it for my infinity pool. And then you come this way down here, and this is where all of my villagers live. This is where Wolfgang lives, Marshall, Zucker, Tangy, ooh, she's working out. Come this way, and then we have Judy. And I also put a little heart pond in the middle here because I thought it was cute. And we've got Judy and Julian just hanging out. And then I have Raymond's house here. Come this way, we have Kyle. I'm trying to get all of their photos too, so I have most of them except for Three of them. Um, then we have Stitches here, Julian, and finally Whitney. Hi! <laughs> She's so pretty. And we also have the same birthday. 
yeah, that's that's the main reason why I got her. <laughs> so I'm trying to get Whitney's photo, Zucker's photo, and Raymond's photo. Those are the only three villagers that I haven't gotten photos from yet. And then if we come down here, I don't have much on the beach. I just put like random Gulliver's items here. So I have Stonehenge, Sphinx, and then a pyramid. And I really like this shell bed. I think it's really pretty. So I just put it next to there as well. Come down here and I have a little like band area. I've only ever seen one villager, Judy, come down here and actually like sing or use the instruments. But it is pretty out of the way, so I, I understand why my villagers don't usually come here. <laughs> but it'd be nice. I have like one more section to show you guys and then I think we're done. So we can come up this way, go down, and this is like my flower garden. I have all the flower species here. I color coordinated them so that they kind of go in like a rainbow pattern. Um, so yeah, I have all of them here. I also have my orchard here with all of my fruits. Um, peaches, oranges, apples, pears, and cherries, a little fruit stand. And then I've also got a little plant shop over here. This is super cute. I love plants. And then if you come to the right, I have this little picnic area. And this area I designed specifically for cherry blossom season. So if we were in cherry blossom season, all the trees would be pink. I'll try and insert a photo or some footage to show you guys what it looks like because it looks so pretty in the spring. So yeah, I, I made this little like sakura tree walk. It looks pretty like dull right now because it's fall so the trees aren't as pretty. But I also have my rocks here. I didn't know where else to put them so I just put them here. <laughs> and this area also leads back into my market. So yeah, my island, I kind of designed it that way so that everything kind of connects all together. It just flows better to me that way. So yeah, that's actually the end of my island tour, guys. Oh my gosh, wait, we are not done yet. I didn't even show you my house. Okay, let's go back. I'll do a little house tour. Oh my gosh, this is like my first video coming back from like being on a super long hiatus from YouTube. So bear with me. I'm like still trying to get back into the hang of things. Okay, so this is my house. This is my living room and I kind of split it up into like two different sections kind of. Let's start with the right section. So I have this area to the right here with the white box sofa. It just has a more modern feel to it. I think with the monochromatic colors, my Animal Crossing switch in game because I don't have it IRL and I wish I did, but I don't. So at least I have it in the game. <laughs> I also have my workbench here and then on the left side, this side of the living room is just way more cozy. So got the fireplace, got some tea. Yeah, it's just way more cozy and closer to the door. I just have this little area. If I want to change up my hairstyle, then I have the mirror or if I want to change my clothes, then I have the ironwood ironwood dresser. Yeah, so I, I really couldn't decide on a theme for my living room. So that's why I went with two different themes. <laughs> And then if you go to the left room, this is my kitchen. I I wouldn't say that it's like complete yet. Uh, so this is what my kitchen looks like. Um, and I feel like it's so basic. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't know what to say about my kitchen. It's so basic. Um, this is from the fishing tourney. And I also have a photo of Brewster because I love Brewster and I really hope that they bring Brewster to New Horizons. Okay, so then in my back room, this room is like a plant room. Um, I want to fill it with even more plants, but yeah, I just haven't had the time to do that yet. But I really like how the wallpaper and the flooring look together. Yep, yeah, this is what this is what we've got for now. And then you come back out, go to the right, and this is my bathroom. I think my bathroom is one of my favorite rooms. You come in, and then to the right is a sink. That mirror is actually a custom design. Um, again, I found it on Pinterest. Then you hang it up as a canvas and it, yeah, it looks like a mirror. Then I've got the bathtub. It's kind of weird because I have two bathtubs in here. If you can see, I have one to the right here and then another one back here. I like both tubs and I wanted both of them. So that's what I did. And then I blocked off the toilet here and yeah. I really like my bathroom. It's very calming and relaxing. Okay, so let's let's go downstairs first because I actually don't remember what I did last. Oh yeah, my basement is... I'm trying to turn this into like a game room. Well, it pretty much is a game room, but I also want to put maybe like a bar over here. Yeah, I need to work on that. But right now I just have a bunch of gaming furniture. And then finally we can go up to my bedroom. So my bedroom was... 
I think the first thing in my house that I fully completed. I have a little like study area to the right here. And I've also got a pet bed for my invisible pet. Got a little area for me to get ready. And then to the right, I mean the left of my room, I have a big giant teddy bear, my bed, and of course I have KK Bubblegum playing because who doesn't freaking love this song. <laughs> and then I have my past villagers on my wall. So these are photos of villagers that I had in the past. I gave them away or I voided them <laughs> to make room for my current villagers. And yeah, that is my bedroom. Okay, so I think I finally finished show you, showing you everything on my island. Yeah, so that's that's really it for the island tour, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave my dream code address in the description box. Oh no, is that a mosquito? That is. Oh no, I got bit. Ew, I hate mosquitoes. All right, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little island tour. I had a lot of fun making it. Oh, by the way, let's let's see how many hours I spent on this game. I have spent 430 hours. <laughs> Dang. If you want to show me your island, leave your dream address in the comments as well. I would love to come visit. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!